What's going on guys, Jerry Neutron here back with a brand new video and today we're going to be putting together a budget gaming uh, PC build. So um, I was in the process of actually putting together a 700 ish uh, dollar PC build and I started to think, um, you know, I wonder what the build would come out to if I chose the cheapest components I could find that I would deem uh, quality. And so I decided to go ahead and do that and I actually came out to uh, about 600 bucks for the uh, PC build. So I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys uh, pretty much the parts that I chose because I think I actually did pretty good. But uh, yeah, these are the cheapest parts that I deem quality. So if you see something that's cheaper than this, uh, I can't co-sign it. You're on your own there. These are the cheapest parts that I deem quality that I would personally buy if I was putting together a budget system today. So. Before we get started, I've got to drink some of my uh, ruby red grapefruit juice. It's delicious. <sighs> Melted ice. <laughs> Anyways, let's pretend you didn't hear that part. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into the PC build here. So we're starting with the CPU, and I've chosen the Intel Core i3 6100. This is a dual core processor with hyper threading. Uh, 120 bucks will get you a pretty decent uh, performing CPU. It's got a pretty high clock speed, decent single threaded performance. So it should perform well in most games. Um, really the only ones that should cause you any issue are uh, the more demanding CPU titles like uh, maybe Grand Theft Auto, for example. You really want a strong CPU for that. But for most games, this is gonna be just fine. So. That's why I've gone ahead and uh, chosen that here. Not much else to uh, say about it. Now for the motherboard, we've gone with this uh, ASRock H170 board. Uh, it's got USB 3.1 on board, hence the uh, slash 3.1 in the uh, naming scheme here. But uh, as far as the rear IO, you get uh, eight USB ports total, which is actually pretty nice. It's more than my board has, and it's not a budget board. But uh, six of them are USB 3.0, two of them are USB 3.1. Um, one of them is a Type-C connector. Um, you don't get any optical audio, which kind of sucks for me since my amp, uh, amp DAC uses that. But for most people, that probably won't be an issue here. Um, you do only get two fan headers on here, aside from the uh, CPU fan header. So two chassis fan headers, which kind of sucks. So you'll probably have to invest in a uh, fan controller of some kind if you run more than two case fans. Um, luckily, they, they are at least four pin. Intel Gigabit Ethernet, which is another plus. Uh, it's pretty. It's a pretty much bare bones system, uh, bare bones motherboard. So can't complain too much for the price though. It is less than uh, 80 bucks. But again, I do like spending money on motherboards because they can change your whole uh, experience with the system. But hey, what can you do when you're broke? You got to get what you can get. So 80 bucks. This is what I would choose. As far as RAM goes, we're going with a uh, HyperX uh, Fury 8 gigabyte kit. This is running at 2133. Uh, megahertz. It's uh, black. Just some cheap RAM to uh, match our PC build. Um, since this chipset and CPU uh, together don't really allow for any type of uh, overclocking as far as the RAM goes, really doesn't make any sense to get uh, higher clock speed RAM and spend additional money. So we'll just go with the highest that is supported out of the box, which is 2133 megahertz. And for storage, we're going with the ADATA SP550. This is a 240 gigabyte SSD. I'm just gone with this to uh, keep the system as snappy as possible. I do wish we could have uh, maybe added more storage to this, but due to budget concerns, I've just gone with a single SSD, 63 bucks. Um, if you do get a little bit more money in the future, I'd probably recommend adding in a uh, one terabyte hard drive, which you can probably get for around the same price as this SSD. But I think it's kind of uh, easier to start with an SSD rather than start with a mechanical hard drive and then try to, uh, you know, worry about cloning the drive and migrating over to the SSD or maybe in reinstalling your OS. It's just kind of easier to add the uh, mechanical hard drive later on. So that's why I've went ahead uh, and gone with the SSD. Now for the graphics card, we're going with the uh, GTX 1060. This is the three gigabyte variant. Um, this is gonna be perfect if you are playing uh, MMOs, MOBAs, um, non-graphically intense games, um, a lot of source games like CSGO. 
probably even be able to get away with something like this uh, for Overwatch, which I know a lot of people play. Uh, it's a pretty good choice in that regard. It is faster than the 470, uh, but it does fall up short uh, against the 480. And being that it's the same price as the 470, it really only makes sense to uh, go ahead and grab the 1060 in this case. Now I will say that if you do play more graphically intense games, I would probably try to swing the 8GB or 6GB variant, um, whether you're going with the 1060 or 480 or 470, you'll just get an overall better experience with that, you won't limit yourself, uh, and you'll be able to run those HD texture packs with no issues, so yeah. That's pretty much it as far as the graphics card. Now for power in this thing, we're going with the Rosewell Hive uh, 550 watt power supply. This is semi-modular, 80 plus bronze certified. It is running a uh, single 12 volt rail. Um, you've got these all black slim cables, which is nice. And this will just help keep the system um, nice and cable managed if you are not being lazy. Since you're dealing with a budget case in this price range, you know, you need all the help you can get <laughs> a lot of times, so uh, that's why I think this is a good choice. Also got a 135 millimeter fan here, so the system should be uh, pretty quiet. So, like that choice there for 55 bucks, not too bad. As far as the case goes, we're probably going with the best budget case, I think, uh, in this price range, and that is the Corsair 100R. So this has got a windowed side panel, two USB 3.0 ports up top, uh, not a bad looking case either, like pretty much 99% of budget cases, they all look hideous. Um, this one actually looks pretty good for its uh, price. So this is what I would personally go with. Um, obviously it's not going to have a ton of, you know, radiator support and uh, or sound dampening and things like that. And you're not going to have a ton of dust filters, but uh, you know, you kind of got to work with what you got in this price range. So again, this is my personal choice if you are uh, working on a budget. So with all that said, we came out to just over 600 bucks, so uh, about $607. We came out with an i3, uh, we came out with an SSD, we came out with a 1060, a semi-modular power supply. I think we actually did pretty good considering the uh, price restrictions. So uh, if you got 600 bucks and you wanna get into PC gaming, this is the build that I would put together given I had to buy brand new parts today. So uh, yeah, now let's talk upgrades because uh, let's say like in a year from now, you maybe want to add a couple of things to the system. Um, the first thing I would do is uh, go ahead and add uh, the uh, hard drive that I mentioned. So you can get a Western Digital one terabyte uh, blue drive for about 50 bucks. That'll give you some extra storage for additional games and stuff like that. Um, so get that as necessary. And then for the CPU cooler, which I actually did not mention in this build, it's because I will be running the Intel one. Well, if you want your system to be a little bit quieter, I'd recommend picking up the CryoRig H7. It's about 35 bucks. Should uh, quiet your system down some. Also to make it look nicer, which is a, a plus. But uh, yeah, you really would just want to get that to, uh, you know, kind of keep the noise down a little bit. But those are two upgrades that you can uh, consider in the future, and uh, if you do get a little bit more money, maybe going with a uh, i5-6500, uh, but chances are you're probably not going to go with that if you are building a $600 system, but uh, yeah. But anyway guys, um, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about this PC build down in the comments below. I think I did pretty good, so uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like this video if you like this type of uh, content. Subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, see ya. Okay, there. Out of space. What's going on guys, Jerry Neutron here back with a brand new video, and today we're gonna take a look at a couple CPU coolers from a company by the name of Reven.